If you're new to running email statements within Transact POS, there's a couple things that need to be done first. One is that the customer, let's go look one up here. These to have selected an email address. The other component is under settings. If we go look at the bottom right here, the emails, invoices, and email statements need to be checked. If you've gone ahead and set up the email but have not done this side, I do contact our support group. We have a little utility which will turn these on. So we have some sites will have several hundred um, email addresses, but they have not have failed to check those two boxes. We have a utility that solves that problem. So once that is set, this customer will get invoices every time one is created in the store using their account. Invoice will be automatically emailed to them. When it comes time for statements, you'll go through your normal creation of finance charges, etc. But when you come into print statement, you will choose the top of this list, all statements, which includes printed and emailed. It will, as usual, select the appropriate type of form to be used, open invoice, bounce forward, details or not. So selecting the all statements, your normal selection or limitation of customers would apply. Then you would choose your statement printer. And then upon, upon selecting print, the system will automatically email or print that statement for that customer. Upon completion of that, if you go into the customer file, you will see under reports, view statement, you go to the bottom of this list, for instance here, we'll see that there is that statement that was created for that customer signatures, etc. will be applied as we go through this process. Thank you.